Okay, sir, first your reaction on that uh, inflation print for the month of March. How much of that is due to the spike in crude prices owing to the fact, of course, of the ongoing war in Ukraine? And how much of it is due to higher demand as restrictions loosen up? Oh, well, uh, I think uh, a large part of it is, uh, is part of uh, the oil price increase because of the Russia-Ukraine crisis, probably around 30 percent, uh, additional 30 to 40 percent because of that. No? So um, outside of the exp uh, outside of the already expected increase in prices because of the surge in demand because of the recovery of our uh, economy. Sir, are you seeing this to persist? And if so, for how long? Obviously, we don't have a crystal ball on mm -hmm. uh, how long this uh, you know, crisis might be lasting. But uh, do you expect it to be uh, you know, a temporary issue or something that uh, is quite worrying, especially after this uh, print in March? Um, this is a, tem a temporary thing. In fact, no, we are seeing a price rollbacks way earlier than many have predicted. So, so therefore, uh, we can see that the oil price, no, uh, barring any additional uh, escalation in the conflict, uh, we are already uh, seeing um, a, steady a steady decrease in the price of oil because of uh, additional production of uh, oil and so therefore uh, this particular uh, particular higher than expected inflation should normalize uh, in the next three to four months and and therefore we should be on our way on um, on, on just a healthy healthy pace of inflation accommodative of uh, economic growth uh, higher higher demand because of uh, the the recovery of our economy and uh, the additional spending due to the uh, activities uh, brought about by this uh, election.